Hello world, how are you doing today? I'm Damian from the Monkey Shima. Dzień dobry wszystkim. And whenever I'm in Singapore, I'm always making special video regarding the Orchard Road, which is the main biggest road in Singapore. And usually I'm doing this in the peak times in the weekday, which is today, it's the middle of the week, five, actually five to six p.m. And of September 2022, also as the bonus, there is the Formula One Racing Week upcoming actually weekend is just next few days from now so so much preparation for the formula one or formula one race it's going on so many merchandises formula one and stuff like this let's enjoy so this is the corner where is the x lad this is a very interesting story of this restaurant by the way patek philippe here and this is the mario tank plaza let's have a walk uh, this video will be not without much editing i just want to show you everything how does it look like peaceful walk uh, see how the life is going currently, especially as right now not so many people wearing a mask because it's not mandatory. Almost Singapore, life in Singapore almost come back to the previous pre-pandemic times. You can see the bars full of people enjoying their time. This is the Tang Plaza. Um, well, it's maybe not as that busy on the streets because it's not Saturday, not weekend, but definitely atmosphere is very chilled and relaxed. I'm gonna tell you, Mario Tank Plaza. Oh, and here somebody casually parked the pink Lamborghini. <laughs> Check this out. This is pretty unbelievable. Pink Lamborghini at the front of the Mario Tank Plaza. Somebody making uh, pictures because this is the little bit unusual view as somebody have a pink Lamborghini especially. Anyways, on the other side of the street is Ion Mall or Ion Mall. Uh, somewhere over there is actually the one of the very nice sky bars, by the way, for everyone who are interested in overlooking the Orchard Road. Hilton, this hotel was the Mandarin Hotel not so long ago. I remember uh, before pandemic, I used to stay there. Now it's Hilton and overall situation uh, next to the Tank Plaza looks like this one. You can find so many interesting shops around and here we go. Formula One uh, merchandise shop. Uh, obviously, you can see this only in the Formula One uh, week month. I think only uh, in September, once a year. That's it. But Formula One is always every year in Singapore. So let me know in the comment section if you are the fan of the Formula One. Also, that's the merchandise is prices for everyone. I'm very fan of the Red Bull actually. Uh, this T-shirt is very tempting. Hello. Uh, <laughs> but. Uh, I don't know, the special offer for the kids. Uh, there's like a Ferrari and other Mercedes, McLaren. This one actually is selling many other stuff because like a delivery, mascots over here, or maybe a little helmet, actually very cool stuff. Heads, so many stuff, so many interesting stuff actually. But anyways, let's focus. Uh, oh, this is actually very cool, pretty cool indeed. Uh, let's focus on the general situation on the streets today on the Orchard Road heading into Somerset direction over there and well it seems like it's very relaxed atmosphere on the streets I'm gonna tell you Orchard Road is also very popular streets for the Orchard Road street for the malls so on every single corner on the left on the right you're gonna find the malls and any kind of shops, of course. You can buy also many, like three for $20, some sort of delivery over here, accessories. So it's not as only everything in Singapore is expensive. That's not true. Singapore is not as that really expensive. And you can find, of course, the luxury brands like LUV and stuff, or you can find just the regular brands, which often are cheaper than in other Southeast Asian countries, which is a big surprise for maybe some of you guys, but that's true. This is the Lucky Plaza. Lucky Plaza is popular for the at weekends, especially at Sundays, for some Asian uh, workers who are coming here and they are chilling in the malls. I heard as on the Orchard Orchard Road have a, like a malls for specialized for the you know Indonesian people, Filipino people, Indian people, uh, Malaysian people, and stuff and so on, so on, so on. But I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not the expert. Here is Giordano, and you can find some uh, merchandise T-shirts. Like I love Singapore for 23 bucks, which is also not so bad. And overall situation on the streets looks like this one. Um, many people walking, enjoying the time. Still many people wearing a mask, but uh, it's like, you know, if you want to wear it, but you don't have to. When I was here last time in April, mostly also outdoors, you didn't have to wear a mask, but like 99% of the people was wearing. Now it's about 60, 50%. 
wedding 50 knot 50 50 i would say uh, which is not that really bad um, of course i'm not saying it's good or bad but i like to see people's faces like i mentioned first on the first video when i came to singapore a few days ago I mean my be the flagship rolex shop at the front over here actually this is like a headquarters of the rolex i could say uh, overall situation people enjoying the time this is also a little bit of the business district actually business district is close to the rafflers uh, but here also you can find so many people uh, working from the office wearing the suits and stuff like this but also so many so many tourists from all around the world and well that's how it is looks pretty optimistic today i'm gonna tell you guys really optimistic also so many international tourists from all around the world coming to singapore right now entry requirements are so easy basically if you are fully vaccinated we just like it's pre-pandemic times we just feel something online like arrival zone and they are vaccination certificate and that's it so it's pretty easy to come you don't have to wear a mask what else we need so another mall's name is Njian City uh, with the very uh, luxury uh, brands like Cartier Chanel, Louis V, Louis Vuitton and stuff like this. I heard this mall is popular through the Indonesian community. I'm not sure if it's confirmed fact, uh, but uh, it's made be true, something like that. And this one is actually Paragon uh, with the Prada and other brands uh, heading now to direction of Somerset over there. Uh, where you can see Orchard Gateway, there's actually Somerset. So this is the main entrance to Paragon Mall. Uh, this is like a mall with so many uh, luxury brands inside. As you can see at the front, just Gucci and stuff. So you can know what to expect, expect deep inside. And overall situation outside the mall, I think I have to go closer to the street. Uh, maybe I'm gonna cross this junction over here because it seems like it's actually busier when you are walking closer to the road <laughs> but actually if you are walking closer to the malls there you can feel some aircon because it's very hot in singapore obviously and that's really nothing has changed always was hot and always gonna be uh well, well there's some performance on the street over here maybe i'm gonna have a look i don't know why but i'm really always enjoying even to be in singapore and walking in singapore on the singaporean streets enjoying the traffic how everything is moving around um it's just very nice city, I'm gonna tell you guys. I know some of you may like it, some of you may don't like it, but for me, I just really love to be here. And well, this is the Orchard Road. Some people saying as this is the paradise for the shoppers. We, we can find, for instance, a flagship Adidas shop here. If you are the fan of Adidas, I prefer Nike, to be honest. And over here is the one of the three, currently three Apple stores in Singapore. This is not the endorsement, however, very interesting fact. As up to 2019, there were only one Apple store in Singapore. But during the 2019, when the Jewel was open, Jewel was open, there was another Apple store. And into 2020, on the middle of pandemic, they opened another one, what you saw previously. And a lot of people from Southeast Asia was coming to Singapore to buying their product, like a laptops or iPhones, because in other countries, uh, it was very hard to buy the Apple product. Currently, if you would like to buy something from the Apple, uh, especially like a newest iPhone Pro level uh, or the Apple Watch or MacBooks, which is the highest category, you cannot buy it if you don't gonna order online and pay online. That's changed currently. I don't know why it's like that. I'm just letting you know just in case if maybe you will be interested to do some shopping. If you are looking to buy something lower category, like not the flagship models, you can still come in and pay by cash or just simply come and buy. If you wanna buy something like 14 Pro Max, or maybe MacBook Pro, or maybe Apple Watch Ultra, you have to do it online first and pay it online, and you cannot take the tax refund. Just interesting fact for you guys. Also, the sunset time is gonna be in 50 minutes, so it's kinda golden hours in Singapore. Currently, sunset time is at 7 p.m. or a few minutes past seven. I'm waiting on the red light. Uh, gonna cross the street, gonna show you how does it look like. Uh, it's like a very modern city in Asia. Of course, Singapore is totally different than any other city in Southeast Asia, in Asia in general. Uh, waiting on the red light. Here we go, the green light. Everybody passing peacefully, gently. Uh, the traffic situation on the roads is never crowded in Singapore. Actually, I don't remember where or ever I stuck in the traffic jam in Singapore. Maybe it was once but I don't remember overall situation looks like this one. 
uh, there's some performance like I mentioned already last time so many people actually walking on this street a little bit more than the other other so I'm gonna change the direction now and I'm gonna walk into the direction of Somerset over here just another little small junction have to wait when it's red you're waiting in Singapore because obviously Singapore is not Ho Chi Minh or Bangkok no offense but there is still more Asian vibe here is more Western vibe it depends if you like it or not I love it there's some music performance very interesting device what this guy is playing never saw it before casually somebody opened the Samsung uh, shop in the like a container style this is very interesting of course so many shops around and I can see at the front and over Formula One merchandise shop gonna have a look and it's definitely so cool to experience the Singapore during the Formula One week you can find so many interesting stuff on the street regarding the Formula One of course this is the Hanover merchandise shop uh, what we have here uh, McLaren team Renault team Ferrari uh, all of the teams actually you can find over here and so many people actually enjoying the Formula One in Singapore which is very cool um, unfortunately I cannot stay in this occasion however next time definitely I would like to come to Singapore and enjoy the race maybe next year if I'm lucky enough and I'm still into Red Bull <laughs> Red Bull team uh, if you want to have a t-shirt like this one it's $190 just in case and overall situation looks like this one what is this one this is actually something interesting pinky uh, this is like a little bar now in pink Max Rose that's actually sparkling wine actually I just realized this is the entrance to the ex Mandarin hotel currently Hilton because I remember the towels over there this is like one of the oldest hotels in Singapore unfortunately I cannot see much from this perspective the only one thing what is pretty um, difficult during the coming to Singapore during the you know Formula One week is that as everything especially the accommodation and hotels is pretty expensive and you can feel so many a road closure where will be the racetrack of course um, but it's still cool to be here actually if you are especially a fan of Formula One it's cool many people are coming to Singapore just to watch Formula One racing because I met some fans from New Zealand another thing what is very interesting about Singapore is that as right now on the middle of the street on the Orchard Road there is alcohol section uh, like an exposition of the alcohol one of the drinks what's the name like this one I don't know even how to pronounce this Auchentoshan something like that single more scotch whiskey for everyone um, definitely you're not gonna find see stuff like this in the countries like uh, Malaysia or Indonesia especially Indonesia however here uh, is totally no problem uh, well that's the different life in Singapore than uh, in Indonesia where I'm living of course but this is uh, this is the Singapore just itself and this junction is always busy full of the people just at the front is Orchard Somerset 316 or something like that actually I forgot the name so many people waiting to see the one of the junctions the traffic casually you can see the S-Class and Alexis very nice cars in Singapore and overall conditions looks like this one also huge Victoria's Secret market market <laughs> just for the huge Victoria's Secret store and HM, this is one of the biggest junctions in Singapore. Check this crowd, how many people enjoying their time. Quarter, 20 past six. It's time to cross the street. As you can see, so many people actually passing by. Uh, Somerset is the one of my favorite small malls in Singapore. Also, I'm gonna have a meeting with some of my uh, Singaporean fans. Actually, I'm gonna have a meeting in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna finish soon uh, the video meeting is meeting and we are in Singapore so it's not such a thing like I'm gonna be late you have to be on time uh, this guy is playing something very interesting instrument actually check this out uh, this is the Orchard shopping center Somerset is over there I'm gonna have a look a little bit around oh, actually I'm gonna take you deep inside the mall maybe why not the mall is called 313 Somerset actually uh, there are some bars and the Starbucks of course at the front uh, you can actually do um, like you know pass the full entire mall on the straight line and you can go to the other side and going to the Plaza Singapore and dobbing out in case if you need to do something over there there's actually nice some hotels in Orchard between this type I'm gonna show you this part of the mall right now and also later I'm gonna have a meeting somewhere here so uh, it's good opportunity also the aircon is inside which is very helpful there are some bars over here as you can see uh, maybe not as that busy yet but remember guys it's middle of the week this is not any kind of weekends 
it's just middle of the week and in my actually opinion is pretty all right also there's the paris baguette and i'm gonna show you one of my favorite cafes in singapore which is this one the swiss one forgot the name it was mesia or something like this one so i'm gonna show you right now just in case if you're interested also on the um, Grand floor, there are so many cafe and restaurants options. Yes, Marche Moven thing. This is one of my favorite places for having a coffee and breakfast in general if I don't have it in the hotel. And usually I don't have it in the hotels when I'm in Singapore. Very nice looking uh, restaurants. Actually, something has changed since I was here last time. Definitely is busier. That's definitely is busier. First of all, you don't need to scan any app and you don't need to wear a mask inside the mall which is totally different than I was here last time. There is the Puma flagship store in case if you're interested. And also here is the Somerset MRT station entrance. Very interesting fact, very easy, very easy access overall. Cleaning robot, <laughs> I don't know if actually this is important. And Arabica coffee, the Arabica coffee currently open everywhere in Bali, in Indonesia, in Bangkok, in Singapore. I don't know if it's already in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur, however, here it is everywhere having the same style and this is the orchard gateway seems pretty busy to me actually quite a lot of people are everywhere around i know this is not really orchard road however i think it's part of the orchard road definitely worth to show you around i hope so you don't mind we are still enjoying because remember if you switch off the video on this time i can see that on my statistics or on youtube so i really appreciate if you watch this video till the end if you haven't subscribed yet, do it now. Big thumb up to help me to growing on my YouTube channel. I'm coming to Singapore and visiting all countries in Southeast Asia for you. And not for myself, I'm coming here in purpose to making videos for you. Also, who knows, maybe one day I can live for a longer wire or open company in Singapore and I will show you more videos from Singapore. I hope so you enjoy. Because like I said already, this is one, not one, this is the best city in the world for me even I never lived here. However, maybe maybe one day some dreams will come true. Why not? Also, Singapore is full of opportunities. Meanwhile, this is the end of the mall and for some reason over here there's not so many people because there's not so many restaurants. <laughs> as simple as that, right? So this is the second entry or exit from the mall and this is the Orchard Plaza at the front. And this is the park where I was making video last time and one of the bars here. Um, I'm gonna tell you a summer over there is the one of the hotels what I recommend to stay and whenever I'm gonna come next time to Singapore probably I'm gonna stay. Overall situation looks like this one. I'm gonna go to the Orchard Road sign to show you. There's the corner. Um, also, yeah, somewhere there is the hotel. This is the Orchard Plaza. And this is still Orchard Road, actually. Orchard Road is going to the Dobby Guard and Plaza Singapura. And you can go more and more and more there. However, this is like uh, already pretty long video. Next time, maybe I'm gonna do the live stream. Let me know in the comment section if you would like me to make a live stream from this road or any other roads or any other parts of Singapore in general. I uh, mean, I'm gonna show you last of them, you know, the junctions here. Everything works seamlessly as always orchard road guys i also think i was talking very fast today <laughs> that's because i'm so excited to being in singapore anyways i hope so you enjoyed today's video now is the time for a meeting for me because it's already 6 30. um so <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching big thumb up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet leave then leave and comment for me i always reading and trying to answer all of your comments even if i don't have a time i always reading them i will see you tomorrow see ya take care